I have pressed the power key. The monitor will switch on, but only with a blank screen. So I will switch on the adapter first. Okay. As you can see now, when I push the power key here, there will be blank screen. As you can see, the screen backlight is on, but there is no display. So let's try to solve this problem. For that, first of all, I need to disassemble the laptop. Let's continue. First of all, switch it off by pressing the power button. Remove the adapter key here, pin. Disconnect the laptop from the power source. Turn the laptop upside down. Remove these four screws here, one, two, three and four that are visible on the top. After that, after removing these four screws, just here, just remove this. It here itself. As you can see there is one more screw here. Remove this screw as well. Slide the DVD dry outside. So keep it aside. It will be For this now what I'll do is first of all I'll reset the bias. For resetting the bias what we need to do is just disconnect the battery. Push the battery upside, get it towards yourself, keep it aside. So now press and hold the power button for nearly 20 seconds it 
release the power button. Now don't insert the battery. Connect the adapter. Connect this power adapter here. This way. As you can see, now the display is okay. Now let me the CMOS checksum is invalid. So now we need to configure this BIOS and then restart the system. Or else it is already automatically restarting. Let me go, let me wait for it. Let's see whether the OS will boot up. Now this is the first time we are seeing the HP logo. Earlier the HP logo was also not appearing. Now it is uh, trying to boot the OS. As you can see, the dots are circling. Maybe this was the issue or there is some problem with the SS hard disk. So let me use it for certain hours and check it. You can also continue in the same way. If your laptop is showing only blank screen, your HP laptop. Hope this video is going to be helpful for you in resetting the BIOS of your HP laptop. If this video was helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video and subscribe to our channel if you are not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good time. Check the battery. Insert it in this way. These two should enter into these grooves. Press it here on the terminals. There are these screws of the battery. One is here. This screw will come from the bottom power. Just one second. And the third. Be careful and see that the screws won't fall on the main board. Try to use a screwdriver which has magnet or attach a magnet like this. See that the screws will never fall on the main board. Now take the bottom cover. This way. This will be done. it in this way here. Now go on fastening the screws. This screw holds both the screw, the CD drive, DVD drive as well as the panel. After fixing all the screws, take these two over this here. Okay. And the back side one.